Hello YouTube modelers, it's Dwayne, Doozers Models. Just uh, giving you a quick bench update. I got a couple of projects that are really close to completion so I wanted to show um, some of the interior and engines and undercarriage and stuff that you otherwise won't see. So just a, a real quick update today. Um, so the first one is um, Blue Ox has a street machine group build that's coming to an end here so um, I'm doing the final bits on it um, for those of you that don't remember or haven't seen I chose the uh, what year is this 1970 Pontiac Trans Am Ravel kit um, I painted it sort of a, a dark gray color um, blue stripes on it with a little bit of a black fade on the edge um, all the bare metal foils done um, the engine bay is done. The underneath part is done. Um, this is the one that I had the trouble with. I Once I had it all together and did the test fit, the original hood wouldn't work. So I had to put a um, graft, a hood scoop in there. So I had to cut out the insides and 3D print a scoop to fit over the engine. Um, which is part of the chassis. So it's the uh, 3D printed 572, um, sticks up a little higher than I wanted. Um, the undercarriage is all done. And yes, I know the uh, directional wheels are not done properly, um, but unfortunately they're crazy glued and five minute epoxied on and getting them off would be an absolute nightmare. So a little oversight on my part, but uh, it is what it is. Um, the interior, in my opinion turned out pretty good um, a lot of dash detail I don't know if you can see in there or not probably not um, lots of really cool decals with this kit um, the seat belts are decals and a lot of the interior bits and bobs are details are decals um, so this one here should go together pretty good um, another car that I'm working on is a, a Challenger that I did a custom blue Pearl X paint job on it. Um, I tried to wet sand out some of the pot little uh, spot holes there, but they're they're in there pretty good. Um, the windows are on. The chrome is done. The inside is all painted black. Um, the interior in this one not as detailed, but it turned out pretty nice. Uh, nice clean brown. I got the flocking in there. Jeez, the lighting in here is hard. Yeah, I got the light brown flocking in there. A little bit of dash detail done. Seats and interiors are done. I went with sort of a sleeper look on this one. So it's got the Dodge rally wheels with uh, dog dish hubcaps. Um, the underneath is uh, just primer with some color details and crammed a nice big hemi in there. Threw in a little bit of wiring to add a little something to it. So that one is in the final stages of completion and ready to go. Um, another one that I'm working on that I haven't shown yet is my um, USAC group build. So what I've done is I'm taking the, the truck that we have to do for that, the 55 Ford. I've done a little bit of uh, body work on it, sanded it smooth, um, got rid of the stuff on the back, um, cleaning up the front end, getting all that done on it. Um, and what I'm going to do I'm going to marry it with a, who makes this one, an Aoshima Hilux Toyota. So I'm taking that running gear and I'm putting it underneath the Ford. So what I've done is I built all the running gear, put it all together, and I've sized it in with the body. And I drilled some holes and put some body lift pieces on there so it all sits flush. And then these kit tires are going to go on it. And once I get all this part sized and so on, it looks like I'm going to have to do some wheel opening body mods and some different stuff there. But I'm going to get this part buttoned up first and then we'll get the body mods done and then we'll go to paint. Um, as you see with this one, it comes with a four-cylinder engine, just the bottom part of it. So I'm going to cut that out, and I am going to put a Ford engine in there. Um, 
nice uh, what have we got here a nice big block Ford engine and I'm gonna put some uh, whatever these Hillborn injection in it and then I'm gonna custom do the uh, exhaust and get that all worked out so um, I think mid-January is due for that one. So once I get these other two buttoned up, I'm going to uh, put a hard push on getting this truck going. But I'm I'm close to where I'm I'm liking what's going on with it, and uh, and that stuff. Um, one thing that I want to just throw a quick kind of blurb about is one of my nemesis in building models has always been getting the glass in. Um, obviously, if you use crazy glue, you're going to craze it the Bob's Industry Super Gold Plus. I don't like, I don't find it holds very good. I'm, I'm not overly impressed with that. So what I've utilized generally is the Tester's Window Maker or uh, Mod Podge. But the problem I find with those is they take so long to dry, you've got to tape the windows in and it seems like they always move and I always end up getting a smudge at, or some sort of a, a problem with that. Well, what I did on these last two, and it worked out absolutely famously, is I took the Mod Podge around the perimeter, just a little bit of it there. Then I got my Bondic pan, and I put just a daub of the Bondic in the corners. I held the window in place with the little bit of the Mod Podge on, zapped it with the UV light, held it perfectly in place so I didn't have to tape it. I didn't have to have it move around and then I just did the perimeter with a little bit more Mod Podge and as you can see no window smears or leaky glue or bad guys on it so um, great procedure um, it worked out really well so uh, get your hands on one of these it's I'm finding more and more uses for this tool all the time uh, you can get them at Home Depot Lowe's Basically, the resin's in the end. Hit it with 3D lighting. It cures in about 5 to 10 seconds. And it's in place. Um, the next use I'm going to use for it is if you look real close, the pipes don't line up in this. Well, what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of the Bondex, move the pipe in place, shoot it with the UV, and in theory, this should hold those pipes in place where they need to be. So, just a little tip from Dwayne at Doozer's Workbench. Um, I hope everybody had an awesome Christmas. If models and stuff were on your wish list, I hope you got lots of them. And I uh, hope you got some bench time over the holidays and or this week leading up to the new year. Uh, once again, from Doozer's Models, Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy New Year and build on. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.